back here in the kitchen with Chef Plum, and we were talking about the food revolution. We're having right. a little bit of a food fight as mm, well. Just a so, little bit. Guys, you were at a pig farm together recently? What, we what's were. going on? We had a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> edible on the road with the Edible Nutmeg magazine. Yeah. It's a project we got working. Uh, we're showing where food comes from. Uh, we checked out Wee Charcuterie at Before and After Farms. There it is. Ryan came with us, and the pigs really liked him on the back side. It was really uncomfortable, and oh. we hung out. And There's the prosciutto, right? Yeah, 39 pounds, that, huh? 39 oh my gosh. pounds. Did you sample any? Did you well, try Well, you some? can't eat it for two years. Yeah. Oh, so for no, two you years. didn't. Couldn't, and, couldn't taste it, right? And he said there's like a 50 50 chance of it. Yeah, it would, right? Right, right. Because it's arbitrary. And he's outside, and there could be wild animals, so it's, it's a very crazy Ooh. place. What a cool place, though, wasn't it? Super yeah. nice guys, great family. I mean, it was really fun to be out there. And then at the end of the day, of course, as you may see in this clip here, now we're cooking, or Chef Plum is cooking. We're just standing around looking at him. But I mean, you, you cooked up an <laughs> awesome dish, though. It was really good stuff. Oh, man, that was awesome. We did yeah. a beautiful, uh, we used their, they do a salami. It's like a hot salami, but it's Ooh. small, like pepperoni size. We mixed it with some beautiful heirloom tomatoes, made a great salad out of it. How so nice. much fun. Where's it located, this farm? This is in Woodbridge, uh, Woodbridge, Connecticut. Uh, again, it's called uh, We Charcuterie at Before and After Farms. And again, every chance I have to, I have to thank my good friend uh, Pete Stockwell's All State Agency for making this all possible, for giving us and sponsoring us and making us be able to do it. So I tell you nice. what, a lot of fun. We got more episodes coming. You can find them at edibleNutmeg.com. All right, sounds good. So what's on tap for today? Well, we're talking food revolution. We're trying oh. to help kids eat better. You know, trying to help parents. Yeah. Uh, important. That's right. You know, Did it's you hear this? like how fun is this? They're going to go right? around that's UK cool. and sample different foods right. and get a passport, and then they get a prize if they get them all. And they get yeah. a stamp. After they get, they get stamped, that? and the kids taste different things. And <laughs> every kid, can I do it? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> well, every kid's going to get these. All, get an awesome kitchen utensil from our friends over at Walter Stewart's. Great people, big supporters of this event. Super nice people. But even better, it's five bucks. That's all it costs. Five dollars. do that. That, right? It's unbelievable. Yeah. Pop-up park, New Canaan, Saturday morning from 10 to 12. Uh, big shout out to our friend Rachel Lamp, and she is a food revolution from Jamie Oliver's uh, whole food revolution. She is a representative of it and is helping to put this event on. She does it just out of the kindness of her heart. So thanks, Rach. That's awesome. Uh, so, like I'm saying. Yes. Breakfast is one of those meals, <laughs> right? Back to the food now. <laughs> that, that segue was horrendous. No, that was great. That, that was terrible. Um, that was my fault. So <laughs> breakfast is one of those meals that we kind of skip. Like, you know, we just we're so busy, and so. Mm. What's a really cool, this recipe from Jamie Oliver, actually, um, it, it, you can make it the night before with your kids oh, so you can that. have breakfast ready in the morning. It's really, really easy. Because the skill level that's needed for this, I thought we'd let Ryan do it. Oh, the kids. So that means yeah. It's about the same. Because I mean, you and I, we got this. Let's do it. All right, Ryan, where do we start? Oh, oh well, she's yeah. got sharp things. All right, here we go. Okay. Really simple. So what we're going to do is... This is a bowl. Work. This bowl. is called a bowl. This is a bowl. Right. This is a clear bowl, a bowl. by the way. Okay. These are just some oats. Really simple, right? Okay. I, Ryan, just dump those in there. Does it matter what kind you use? Or all of them. All yeah. of them. <laughs> oh, you just wanted some there. There's some in there. That's me... fine. Really okay. simple, right? And then we're going to. Oh, my God. He does cook. He cooks. My hey, kids look, are I got to clean up the kitchen later. Look, that, here's that's my part time job. Now, just put some milk in there. Just enough to kind of top it off. Okay. All we're going to do with this is put this in the fridge after. Really? More? Yeah, top it off. Like to cover it up. Oh, oh. It's going to sit in the refrigerator. Like you're having a bowl of cereal. Like a Right, right, right. And there are a couple things we can do with this. That's probably good. That's right? funny. Okay. Yep, yep. Right. We can let Thank this sit just like this. Or if we wanted to, we could take a pear yes. and we can grate a little pear into it. I'll do that. It's sharp. I've never seen it's somebody sharp. grate a pear. Well, this is cool. It's sharp. Oh, sharp. I'm sharp. not going to yeah. yeah, no, no, no. You do it, just Chef Plum. Just grate a little pear into it. And then we could actually even add a little apple to it if we wanted to. That's right? a cool idea. It's much idea. easier than chopping. Boom. Yeah, huh? Then we're going to put this in the refrigerator overnight. Okay. Right? So it would be like pear zest. Yeah. Here we go. It goes in here just like this. Yeah, there you go, right? And then we take it out in the morning. Beautiful. Almost like a porridge like kind of thing. Like an oatmeal, yeah. Right, it doesn't look so but do pretty, but let me try. you serve it cold? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And then if you want to, you could add a little porridge. a little nuts to it, right? Uh, you could add some strawberries to it. These Anything nuts, you want to do. Some strawberries. That's right, those nuts and some those strawberries. Nuts, yeah. And then just take a plates mm -hmm. out like this in the morning. It's all ready to go. Wow, that's easy Spoon and Spoon it healthy. right in. Right, and your kids can help you make it. That's the key thing. Getting kids in the kitchen, getting them to be a part of this. Listen, it just feels like they really contributed and were a big part of it. Mm -hmm. You can add some blueberries here. Some more strawberries, a little bit of apricots, tons of different nuts if you want. Little pepitas. I like the way you say that too. You like that, huh? Apricots. Apricots. It's like that's my southern accent, I think. <laughs> yeah. Is that what tomato, it is? Tomato, tomato, apricots, apricots, apricots. apricots, apricots. There you go. Look at that. Ooh. How beautiful does that look? Look at, look at. Can you get a shot inside there? there look at you all go. those beautiful fruits Healthy. and stuff. Let's try Unbelievable. Right, give it a taste. Let's see. Unbelievable. Mmm. A lot of fruit up top, right? Up top. Not bad. Easy recipe. And take it to another level, get a little sprinkle of cinnamon on top, just like that. Love Ooh. it. And your kids can help you make it. Great. Just like that. All right, Food sure. Revolution is happening this Saturday, this Saturday in New Canaan. We'll Food check Revolution it out. Day, New Canaan, uh, Pop Up Park, 10 to 12. You can't miss it. All right, very good. Thank you for Thank being you. here. It's always fun, Ryan. You enjoy that. Enjoy we'll keep that.